<clears throat> all right, all right, all right. So now what's happening, right, is you can see that the stock, it's tested basically its breakout spot a couple times. And so it helped. And so I, I know that this stock's about to go again. And so I, I've got it on my watch list. We're still holding a bunch of our shares, original shares. And, and now we're looking to even add more. And so, and you can see what happened, right? This stock is looks like it's about to break out and, you know, boom, it, it pretty much does. And so what we ended up doing on the morning of uh, on Monday, you can see right off the bat, see right off the bat, you know, Friday, it kind of tested 585 a couple times. You see right here. And, and so... On Monday, when we open, right, we broke right above the high from uh, Friday, you know, right off the bat. You see that? And, and so I'm buying this thing right away. You know, I chased it a little bit. I hit it at 590, and then, you know, wham, bam, right? You get that straight spike up, and then it settles down a little bit. And, you know, next thing you know, we, we pop off half around 619, and then I just keep half, right? I'm keeping the other half, and then, you know, as it's starting to, you know, rise back up, I sell off the other half before this drop-off. And so, you know, now we've just netted ourselves uh, another 30 cents, basically, on this trade, which 30 cents on a, you know, 595 stock is, um, you know, 5 6% or whatever it may be. And we're still holding on to uh, some of our core shares, right? And we're trading around it. And so, you know, now we, we've sold off half, and it was half at 619, and the last half at 622. And, you know, and, and we let, you know, the rest of our shares ride, you know, of our core shares that we haven't sold off yet. And so, you know, all that's happening now is, you know, as usual, you know, stock will break out like this, and then you'll see a, a, a you know, a pullback. And so basically what's happening now is, right, it's flagging again. And so uh, I'm getting ready, right, another few days, and this thing might break out again. And, uh, you know, probably this next breakout is probably when I'll start unloading everything, right? Because now we're starting to get to some pretty uh, extended levels, you know, pretty far away from the 20-day moving average and things like that. And you don't want to get into that type of zone. But, you know, that's, you know, the essential of really how you can take a stock and make some big returns because, you know, we buy the stock and then, you know, even on its breakout day, we're adding more stocks and day trading and selling them off and then rebuying more on a breakout and selling them off. And right, you, that you're scaling up basically and then trading around a core position. And, um, you know, I still have like 1,300 shares left over from like 495. And, uh, you know, if this thing bases for a couple days, you know, I'm going to add a whole nother position and play this thing all over again. And uh, so, you know, that that's really uh, the, one of the essence of trading is, you know, finding strong stocks uh, and being able to play them. You know, the strongest stocks, you know, momentum is a crazy thing. Momentum can take a stock and um, it'll just go, they can go on and on and on and the plays go over and over and they overshoot for uh, so much longer than you can ever think. You know, one of the scans that I run pretty much every day is, you know, uh, it's a Momo stock scan for just, you know, the stocks uh, with the highest level of momentum for the last, you know, 90 days. And, you know, I flip through them every, you know, every day just to see, you know, what's moving, what's not, you know, what's, um, you know, what's in play. And you can see what are some of the stocks that show up on the scan that, that we've played over and over, right? Cool. How many times we play this over? BLTI. How many times we play this over? AXK is the next on the list, right? How many times we play AXK? INPH. BDCO, SYMX, Moby. I mean, all these stocks are the stocks that we play over and over and over. MDW, you know, DUSA, all these stocks we've played. Royal, you know, CT. These are the top momentum stocks in the last 90 days. And there's been an infinite number of, you know, trades within them for the last couple months you know everybody i know has traded ct once or roil once or moby or blti and so really sticking with stocks that have that's why i'm a momentum trader because stocks with momentum you know they stay strong and uh, when they dip they dip